I'm going to show you 15 free iPhone apps from the App Store that will completely change the way you use your iPhone. Starting with an app that lets you use multiple cameras. This app is called Bicam. And when you first open up the app, it asks if you want to subscribe or get the paid version, but you can just click on limited version and still use this incredible app, which lets you record using your iPhone's front and back camera at the same time. There are so many different options and settings like this one to increase the selfie cam window. You can switch the cameras around if you want, or you could just get rid of the window completely by clicking this button. I also love that you can move the selfie window wherever you want based on what you're shooting and of course you can take pictures or shoot videos with this amazing free app. So unlike the normal camera app on your iPhone, now you can use both the cameras at the same time, grab some shots, take some video, and the quality is just as good. It's a pretty epic way to tap into some extra hardware, but now you guys remember these, right? Air tags? Well, similar to how you track air tags, there's this app called Track It, which basically lets you find almost any Bluetooth device. It picks up a bunch of different Bluetooth devices around you, so they don't even need to be connected to your phone. And so when you choose a device, it'll show you how far away it is, as well as the signal strength. And then you basically just play a little hide and seek, follow the signal strength until you find your item. So with the Find My app, you can track your Apple products, but with this app, you can pretty much track any Bluetooth product, which is super useful, especially if you've lost it. Hmm, cool. But here's an app that's probably even more useful than that. And this is probably my favorite find because with this app, Zeta Stitch, you can literally take a screenshot of pretty much anything. The best part is it is so easy to use. So let's just say you're browsing the internet and you see something you want to share or save. All you do is swipe down on control center, click and hold down on screen recording, then select the Zeta Stitch app, tap on start broadcast, and in a couple of seconds, all you need to do is scroll. It is that simple. Scroll down the screen and when you're done, just wait and your phone will vibrate. Then you can go back to the app, make sure you're happy with things, you got the perfect long screenshot, and when you're done, just click save and it instantly saves it to your photo gallery. So once you open up the photo app, there it is, your amazing long screenshot, and you can still zoom in, see all the detail, or edit it and basically do whatever you want. And if you think that screenshot is taking up space, well, you can do this. You can download an app called System Status because this app shows you all the running specs of your iPhone, like how you're using your processor, memory, your storage, network speed, and even some useful battery info. But what is even better is you can add widgets. So if you go to the widget section and choose System Status, you can choose from all these different cool widgets that show all kinds of different metrics, like the System Storage one, because I am constantly taking too many pictures and using up way too much storage. So come on, I mean, how useful is that? Just by quickly looking at these widgets, you can see the status of your iPhone. But speaking of widgets, this is one of my favorite widget customization apps, Widgetsmith. So you can build a widget easily from scratch to match your iPhone's theme or aesthetic, and you can choose from a whole bunch of different sizes as well as things like photos, times, dates, or text. And then once you've decided on your widget style, you can then go ahead and customize the heck out of it. So I just added a bunch of text, chose my favorite font, and then it was time to customize. So when everything is done and you're super happy with the look, you just head on over to the widget section, add whatever size widget smith you created. So mine was small. And then when you're happy with the placement, just tap on it, choose the name of the widget you created. And just like that, guys, you have a super custom, amazing looking widget in seconds. Another widget app that I recommend is is color widget. It works differently to widget smith, but it is just as good. In color widget, you can choose from a bunch of different pre-made widgets or there's even pre-made themes. So once you've tapped on the theme tab, you will see a bunch of free as well as some pro options. There are so many different ones to choose from, but once you found the one you want, just tap on it and then just download the different elements to make up the theme. As you can see, there are a ton of different icons and setup is really easy. You can literally build up and customize the theme really quickly and honestly it makes your phone look 
really good. But I have one more customization app to top it off. This app is called Maloko, and these icon packs are on a whole nother level. So when you open up the app, you have a bunch of trending icon packs at the top, or if you scroll down, you'll see all the newest icon packs. Once you've found your favorite icon pack, it does require a little bit of setup, but really nothing crazy. So you can download the system as well as social media icons, click allow to download the profile, then under settings, you will see this profile downloaded. Literally, all you gotta do is click install on the top right hand side, and that is pretty much it. Now, all your custom app icons are on your home screen. There are a ton of them, and remember, this is all free. So with all those customization apps, you can pretty much make your phone look like anything you want, but I have even more app hacks to show you. Let's take a look at the very best Safari extensions you can get. When you open Safari to access your extensions, just click on that little puzzle icon, and the first epic one is called Neo Noir. This amazing extension, once toggled on, turns any web page into dark mode. Believe it or not, iPhone's dark mode does not do this. This extension even lets you toggle the image brightness down. I mean, come on, that is too legit. So if you're a dark mode lover or just wanna give your eyes a break, you need this app. Then this next app extension is equally amazing and it is called Web Scroller. It does exactly that, scroll the web. Once you tap on the extension, you can click start and automatically this extension scrolls for you. You can up the speed or lower it, click done and browse any web page hands free. Next, we have this epic extension and it's called duplicate tab. It literally duplicates any tab you're currently looking at and this is actually super useful, especially when comparing things. And honestly, those are so damn useful. But now that your Safari is like, up here. Let me show you another app that's like up here. This app is conveniently called Toolbox and it is filled with a bunch of different tools for your photos, GIFs, videos, and even audio. You can extract audio, compress videos, create GIFs, convert photos, extract pictures from videos, convert files to PDF. Honestly, the list is freaking endless. Not only that, it can also quick and easily save and collect any videos or photos from any website. So as you scroll down, it collects all the data and then here is where you can select which videos, GIFs, photos or files you wanna save, click the save button and it goes straight into your gallery. So I just scrolled down on Giphy.com for a couple of seconds and was able to save these super high quality GIFs. Amazing. So that's a sneaky way to save any media, but now where do you hide it? Well, this app, literally called Secret Photo Album is a, a secret photo album. The very first thing you do is create a pin number to enter the app and once in there, you can start adding all your media. You just click the plus icon and then import from your gallery or take a picture on the spot is up to you. Then click the import button and it'll actually ask you to delete this media from the rest of your phone. Once that is done, consider your media hidden and no one's gonna find it unless they got that pin. And what's crazy is you can even change the app's icon to disguise it as something else, which is quite convenient, but not as convenient as this. This app is called Paste Keyboard, and it is quite honestly amazing. Once you've installed it within settings under keyboard, then under Paste Keyboard, all you gotta do is toggle on allow full access, and then you're good to go. So with this keyboard, you can save all your most used sayings, phrases, quotes, pickup lines, jokes, whatever it is. And once they are saved to this keyboard, you will never have to type them out ever again because all you need to do is click the globe icon, select your message, and the bam. And while we're chatting about keyboards, check this one out. This one is called Fonts for iPhone, and you basically install it the exact same way, but now you get crazy fonts in any app. To open it up, you just click and hold the globe icon, then select Fonts Keyboard, and now you have a bunch of different fonts to choose from. Some of them you do have to pay for, but most of them are free, and quite honestly, it makes your texts and messages stand out a lot. And if those weren't enough, we even have Gboard. Yes, you can get Gboard for iPhone, and what I love about it is how much you can customize this keyboard. There's a couple of options you can already choose from, or you can choose to customize your own, like change 
the background, change the text color to something that pops. You can change the border color. You can even change the swipe color. And if you want, make it slightly thicker. If all that wasn't enough, you can even change the highlight color. I wasn't lying when I said you could customize this thing. You can really make it your own. And when you're ready to use it, just tap on Gboard, select your custom keyboard. And I'm pretty sure your iPhone keyboard has never looked so good. Okay, now enough about the keyboards, but what about using your iPhone for something totally different? This app is called L Trackpad. And yes, you might have guessed it by the name, this app allows you to use your iPhone as a trackpad. When you first open the app on your iPhone, it does prompt you to download the app for your Mac. It is so simple and literally takes a couple of minutes. You do just need to make sure you also allow this app permission. But once that is done, all you do is connect a cable to your computer, then your phone, and voila, the trackpad is activated. Instantly, you'll be able to use your phone as a trackpad. So if the one on your computer is broken, this is a great option. And this is completely free with the paid version. You do just get a couple more gestures, but overall, this is actually amazing. So it's pretty wild that you can use your iPhone as a trackpad. Maybe not so useful for Netflix, but I do have something useful for that. So if you guys are like me, you probably have a couple of different streaming services. And if you want to watch a specific movie or series, you don't always know which one it's on. And that's where this app comes in. Just watch. Once you've downloaded and installed the app under the account settings, just make sure you add all the various streaming services you have like Netflix, Apple TV, etc. And now if you search for a movie, it'll show you exactly where that movie is streaming based on the country or region you're in. But if you really want to watch something cool, then you can check out my other Apple videos right over here. But otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Toodles!